A former UD basketball player is lucky to be alive tonight after a bus accident killed two people. James Ryder joins us in the studio. He has more on their condition. James? Sam McKay has been playing basketball in Europe for a Hungarian team and survived a horrific crash that claimed the lives of two, her head coach and team manager. Today, I caught up with UD head coach Jim Jaber, who's been in close contact with McKay while she continues to recover. While traveling with her professional team in Hungary, Sam McKay was thrown from a bus after a crash with a drunk driver. The former flyer sustained fractures in her neck, cuts, scratches, and a black eye. And for coach Jim Jaber, it came as quite a shock when he heard the news. It's like one of your own kids um, getting hurt. And uh, I mean, my, I was a mess all weekend. I mean, I was really down and uh, I still feel kind of like a cloud hanging over me. Uh, we're really grateful, like I said, that she's okay, um, but uh, she's part of our family, and, and uh, she got hurt and uh, could have died. Not only did two people die in the crash, but one of the other players had to have her leg amputated below the knee, which helps McKay realize how lucky she is, but she still witnessed a very gruesome scene. I'm just trying to want to be a resource for Sam and uh, someone she can lean on. I, I think she felt good being able to talk about it, cry about it, and kind of get it out a little bit. And uh, today she seemed much better, and uh, so I think she's starting to heal. And while this tragedy took place several thousand miles away, the incident really hits home for Coach Jaber. As a coach who runs a team who gets on buses and airplanes and all those things, and I mean, who's to say that couldn't happen to us? So. Um, I, just, I just think about the fragility of life and, and, and how fortunate we've been. This summer, McKay came very close to earning a spot on a WNBA roster. And the hope is now she will be able to make her own decision on her basketball future and not have the injuries dictate her career. In the newsroom, James Ryder, ABC 22 News.